There are innumerable paneer recipes on the internet, but when I searched this particular recipe, hardly a few showed up, and I thought how come such a delicious recipe failed to catch the eyes of paneer lovers. Namaskar and welcome to Curries with Bombi. And today I will be showing you a paneer recipe that is one of a kind, and above all, it is a no onion garlic recipe. The first thing we need to do is some blender work. This is white poppy seeds or khush khush. You will get this at any Indian grocery store. But if you cannot find it at all, then you can substitute with pumpkin seeds or sesame seeds or desiccated coconut or maybe peanuts. Then some cashew nuts. I'm using roasted unsalted cashew nuts, but you can even use unroasted ones. And you can even increase the proportion of cashew nuts if you are not using poppy seeds. Then ginger and green chili, which is totally optional. First, grind them dry, and they will look somewhat like this. Add about a fourth of a cup of water and blend it to a smooth paste. Add a few tablespoons more of water if you see the mixture is getting too thick and not blending well. And we are looking for this kind of a situation. And please don't waste this blender goodness. Add about half a cup of water to it and run your blender one more time to wash up all that precious goodness. But don't mix it with the poppy seed paste that you had made earlier. Save that rinsed goodness for later. Okay, pan out on medium heat. Add two tablespoons of oil. Before my oil turned too hot, I started adding the paneer. Now I am not a fan of frying the paneer. But for this particular recipe, frying the paneer is very crucial. I feel the paneer really stands out if fried, and a secret ingredient added to this recipe makes the paneer even more delicious and soft. As you can see, I have cut the paneer into large pieces. You can follow this same recipe using tofu, and that also turns out great. You want a beautiful golden brown color on the paneer, but guys, do not overdo with that browning. Once they reach this appearance, take them out onto a bowl. And they looked too good, so I just couldn't resist my temptation from having them one after the other until I removed that plate far away from my sight. Okay, I again added another tablespoon of oil. Here are the whole spices that we need. A bay leaf, a cinnamon stick and green cardamoms. All go into the pan. The heat of your stove should be at the lowest possible mark as the next ingredient requires that low heat. Add just half a teaspoon of red chilli powder. Immediately mix with the oil and without any delay add the poppy seed cashew nut paste so that the chilli powder doesn't burn. Stir the paste on medium low heat for about 2 minutes or until you see it has thickened up and guys Please use a non-stick pan or pot for this recipe, as the things have a tendency of sticking to the pan. Now I will be adding that rinsed out blender jar goodness. Next in line is that secret ingredient that will do all that magic in this dish. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome 2 cups of warm milk and if you are following a plant based diet then you can even use soy, coconut or almond milk. Then comes out my magic wand as there were some lumps in the gravy and my handy dandy magic wandy takes care of all the lumps in the wink of an eye. Allow the milk to come up to a boil and then add salt followed by sugar to balance the flavors. Then the paneer dives into the pool of milky deliciousness. Cover on low heat for 8 minutes. Now once you open the lid, the appearance will make you feel that the milk has curdled. But no worries, it's actually the poppy seeds that appear to look like that. Next comes dried fenugreek leaves that is kasuri methi and garam masala powder. At this point if you find that the gravy has thickened up a lot, add little bit of water to loosen it up. Again lid on very low heat for 3 minutes. 
Now I will be plating this out but please don't skip to the next upcoming video because there is more goodness coming up and you don't want to miss it. And I did sprinkle a few drops of lemon juice before plating it. My camera chose to shut off at that lemony moment so my apologies. Okay pan on medium low heat and then ghee. Once the ghee turns hot, add a few red chilies. Now guys, you don't need to add so many if red chilies seem scary to you. Then heat off, raise your pan from the burner and add a little bit of red chili powder or you can even use paprika if you want to avoid the heat and drizzle this ultimate goodness all over the paneer. I mean, if you want to impress anybody, then this dish is the right choice. Though the paneer looks bold and golden, it will just melt in your mouth. And that gravy, ah, oh, people will just scoop up that gravy till the last drop. I can promise you that. Please give this recipe a thumbs up because it deserves that recognition. And please share this recipe with everyone and make it famous. Bye-bye.